Let me get one of those, baby. I'll come to your next flick. The moke eater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta make that. I gotta make this scene. Let me see one of them things, man. Am I allowed to come like this? Any way you want. They might, okay. they, they might think that I'm the fuzz, the establishment, you know okay. what I mean? I'll, I'll be your guest, all right, baby? right here in this room. It was with uh, six of us who uh, used to, make, we used to, uh, you know, this place was like a salon and people used to come here all the time. And uh, one day someone gave me a couple of plays to do and it had parts for six people. And so the six of us, having nothing to do that summer, decided that uh, we would do the plays. I uh, didn't like the plays too much. They, they weren't plays, they were scenarios, originally for movies. And uh, I just adapted them to the stage without doing any rewriting. We just worked on them organically. And curiously, the name Ridiculous came out of that particular adventure. Uh, a girl who was working on the plays with us, uh, Yvette Hawkins, who couldn't be in them because she was an equity actress, uh, one day after rehearsal, she said, hey, John, it's ridiculous. And I said, yes. And so we named it the Playhouse of the Ridiculous. But uh, we started that way, and uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, people were very interested. It was right at the height of the pop art movement, and uh, Andy Warhol was coming into his own. In fact, the two scripts that we did uh, were originally intended for movies by Andy. They were written by uh, Ronnie Tavell. And uh, from that, he decided to write a play for the group, and we did The Life of Lady Godiva. And what had happened was many people had come to see those plays that we had done at an art gallery first, and then some enterprising entrepreneurs <coughs> arrived and decided to bring us to the St. Mark's Playhouse. I didn't want to go there because I didn't direct the plays for the St. Mark's Playhouse. They were very intimate little things for a very tiny art gallery and not for the spacious stage of the St. Mark's Playhouse. The predominant side of the Playhouse of the Ridiculous is comedy. Ridiculous means to ridicule. We ridicule the conventions. We ridicule all the things that, uh, that make up all the conventions, all the establishment. And uh, uh, I think it's all tongue in cheek, except there is a wicked bite to what we're doing the best plays have been written. I mean, we are really a non-verbal theater. One of the plays we did at the American uh, Poets Theater was a play by Diane De Prima called Murder Cake, which was written using the E Ching. You know, so it was just a bunch of disconnected uh, lines. However, it was a, with movement and with sound, it became a very beautiful thing. Uh, what was it about? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, John. Okay. All right. Quiet. Quiet. Let's begin. Let's begin. I told Mike and Melody the other day. Uh, you don't, uh, don't. Don't tell me you can't hate anybody. And do you think you are that you're so goody good? <laughs> you have no hate in you. I saw you, you mother. You hate as much as I do. If you hurt, they won't be paralyzed. You hear that? If you hurt, they will not be paralyzed. Kill them too. Okay. Melody challenge me, everybody. All right. Well, let, let's start this thing. Uh, and uh, just have Frank's entrance into it. And the important thing is to keep this movement going all the time. <laughs> Easy boy, easy boy. Hey! Anybody here? Hello? Hello? What the hell? What kind of one horse town? Hey! Well, let's go. 
ghost town after all. What do you know? I am fellas. Say, uh, where is there a mechanic in this here uh, community, huh? I'm in a hurry. Isn't there anyone on duty at the, uh, say, uh, is there an attendant here? We have particular playwrights, just like the open theater has particular playwrights. Our playwrights write for us, and then they write sort of a groundwork. And uh, then, uh, let's say, let's speak in jazz uh, terms. They write a melody line, and we improvise on it. It's sort of like the Commedia dell'arte, I guess. thing on that uh, uh, listen people I don't or, or listen I don't bite on it and Benny was sneaking around from the back and suddenly was back here again it was very far side okay <coughs> look me Jack huh me got the car huh car go uh, click click car bad me want fix car Absolutely, a new type of acting in the new theater. Uh, I want uh, them to act in the fashion of grand opera, which is really having a ball on stage. And the thing that the audience is always aware of is that we are on, we are playing. Uh, we are not called theater of the ridiculous. People, when they think of us, they call us theater of the ridiculous. I have never called anything we have done theater. We are a play hyphen house. It's a fun house. That's exactly what we are. I want to be judged on that, those grounds. Pay no attention to them. They're just over rock. They're so happy. Great, they're so happy. Over rock? Happy? Oh, what the hell cares? Hey, look at my clothes. I want to turn to my clothes. Hey, these fucks. Hey, they're maniacs. They're crazy maniacs. Let me out of here! Oh, it's intestines! Oh, oh, God! Then down his liver and sucked it in his mouth as much of it as we could. And wait! Wait! Would you believe it? Oh. I think we choked him with oh. the full choke on his own liver! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're a wild group. You know, the, the interesting thing about them is that most of the time they do most of the inventing themselves. I, I sort of try to guide them, but I think that most of the time they're guiding me. The interesting thing about the whole group is, again, is that they are not actors. I, I don't, just don't ever think of them as actors because I think that they're just giving more a part of their own lives. We are a family the family uh, unit, and I might be the father, I might be the psychiatrist, I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little bit of each of these, but uh, I don't know, they, they sort of, uh, they're very good patients, and I, I use that in all its ambiguity. They are patients, too.
and they've stared on 40th. They thought you they were did? fabulous. He said, look around. I turned around. 40 <laughs> seconds, you were stopping dead in its tracks. Fabulous. Dynamite. So he had the thing going on. You think you got any people to come? Hey, hey, can I have a cigarette on Claude? Oh, yeah, no, I was. He had his record player. <laughs> oh, yeah? He was providing the background music. So, weren't you with us last night? I was dancing and I broke my heel? Yeah. Don't you, haven't you noticed that Frank gets more and more despicable? <laughs> and bruised. And bruised is right. But I don't think he's bruised enough. Okay, we'll take care of that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hate him. Oh, hate hate him. him. Are you going to hate him? We're Let's hear you. what? We're going to hate Let's him. Let's hear your hate. No, I don't. I'm just thinking of you. Marie. <laughs> yeah! Go on, Susan. Yeah! yeah. Hate. Yeah! Hate, Jamie. Yeah! I will be back to you people in about 20 minutes for a hate session. <laughs> Another one? Another hate yeah. session. And you said we had a hate session? Hate session? <laughs> no, no, we're going to have one. We're going to have one. No, you're not going to miss it. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Are you finished? Marie has one. I got my heel fixed. Yeah, I got it fixed. Oh, I beg the man to get a fix for six. I'm trying to stick it on last night with my eyes. What's with you? What? What's the matter? Got an army jacket? I don't know. Some thoughts. Hey, listen, will someone please. put two comps out for Olsen for me? Yeah, please. <laughs> please, she said. Before they come. No. No. Like, hate him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. 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 Did you find your uh, costume? Okay, well, we'll know which one it is. I'll be back here. Okay, come on, Melody. Oh, oh. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, get it off. Oh. Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!
of it. Amy says to Kingfish, he says, hey, Kingfish, who is that woman? No! 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 says to king to kingfish um hey kingfish uh, who was that woman i seen you with last night and then kingfish says there was no woman he must devil my way character uh, Jack, uh, played by Frank Dudley, who is not a masochist, but, was, but did this because he believed in the play as much as the, uh, as, uh, the other people. By, by believing in the play, I mean, we believe in what the play was saying about violence in America. Uh, every, everything that was done to the character Jack, every time he was hit, every time he was wounded, everything that was done to him, at the very same time, it was done to every single person in the audience. <laughs> Sugar sweet, oh 
Where's the menu tonight, my dear? Ooh. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. mm, good. Uh, let's see now. Are you reading your menu? Yes, yeah. I'm afraid I don't read French. Yeah. It's in English. Oh. There's Chinese translation in the parentheses. But if you take the first letter of each word, you can read it in phonetic way. Oh, no. You know why? Oh, no. All right. Uh, no, yes, yes. Yes. Ah, I recommend the chicken head. Ah. I always thought I liked yes. Yes. Do tell me what you like. Ah. I guess I like chicken pretty well. Yes. Yes. In its natural juices, of course. Oh, sure, of course, yes. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Ah. Shall we have steamed skunk cabbage with it? Sure, let me be a taste. Huh? Yes, yeah, what I think of her is what you think. Ah. For God's sake, man, be independent. Think for yourself. I only think I'm a partial of steamed skunk cabbage anyway. Splendid. Wait. Music. Life. I hope. Yeah, don't, huh? Don't what? Uh, to help. To help, all right? To help. Mine! Ah! Ah! You want the plastic, baby? No, no, I don't want no plastic. Oh, come on, take, take it! it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I believe there is also horse blood somewhere in her hands. Don't you adore her? My boy, you shall have her if you wish. Nothing, nothing is too good for the son of the crown prince. Oh, oh, thank you. Nothing, nothing at all. Beautiful creature, don't you think? Oh, yes. Shades her entire body every day. Fascinating thing to watch. Positively indecent. Beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she's doing very good. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, better, much better. Next, yes, be done. some performances where they began applauding when he left at the end, thinking that we were really going to let him get away. And we knew immediately that they identified with the character Jack. But, uh, and then when we brought him back, I mean, you could hear what happened. He said, oh, no, when we were really going to eviscerate him. Uh, the importance of that play is that the assault on the character Jack is the assault on the audience. You know, the statement is, in order to be cruel to the audience, you, could, uh, you must first be cruel to yourself. And uh, it works very well in the Moke Eater, and we're very cruel to that audience by assaulting one of our own people. And I thought he was uh, both very good in the play and very brave. <laughs> 